we are talking about Indian art, certainly there are works from few artists that I would really like to say these are very strong works of art, they represent the contemporary or the time at present. There's a work from, I would say, from Smita Kinkale. Uh, she uses plastic as her um, medium and her subjects are inspired from where she comes from. Then, of, uh, of course, there is uh, Ratnadeep Gopaladev Rekar. His works are very, very intellectual and he bridges between different uh, continents and cultures. So that's very interesting given today we have internet connection and there's a constant dialogue going on, you know, and his works do that. So that's a very um, great. Indian contemporary art market is extremely strong. Um, it's a huge market. There's a lot on the market, I would put it. Some is great, great talent. Few years back, I found a young talent whom I've been supporting, and he is really one of the out of the box things I find. Great, his name is Rajesh Wankare, 20s, great talent, portrays Indian rural life, which is hard, but at the same time, it shows something about Indian life, Indian quality the posture of the body, you can see it's tired, you can see it's aged before it should be, but still the face has the serenity of calmness to it. Mm. There is some sort of an eternal mystical satisfaction in his work, in the portraits that he, or the works that he does. Great talent out of the box to keep an eye on him. He is really a one of propelling artist, I would say, would put my money on him. Art has been in Indian society for a very, very long time, even before it existed in Western world, we'll put it. And when I mean art, it's not only art like paintings or sculptures, what we know, it's also about performing arts, calligraphy, writing, stage. So India has its own art market. It has its own art values. It has its own culture. The Indian art market is huge, it's phenomenally huge, uh, but it's like a well-kept secret, you know, among the collectors and buyers in India among themselves. People are looking at it with, um, from European perspective, certainly with India now gaining on the forefront stage, you know, financially, it's no more considered a third world but an equal partner and one of the fastest growing economy. Of course, after the independence, there has been like the Indian art scene was not taken that seriously or was not because of course it's a new country, democracy, you know, a country which knew. So there were many other priorities, but artists even then have helped create the country. India is really at the forefront of contemporary art. There's a great, great art scene. Um, a lot of collectors at home, young collectors. We are land of Kama Sutra to be said and people do talk and certain people don't talk and apparently in India at present the subject is not so spoken. And then there are artists uh, such as like Prashant Salvi who are exactly using this subject and bringing it to a complete different level, you know, with humour. In his work you can see the subject of sex which has not been officially spoken now at present but he's taking the inspiration again from the old mural paintings very avant-garde i would say to to what he, for the for the indian society also at present of course people are not comfortable hanging that work in their living room you know but again people are collecting so it just goes to show maybe not in the living room maybe it's in the bedroom